I'm going to bed. I, I made coffee. I put it on the table. Look, seriously, I've been up all night. Can I please just go to bed? Can whatever this is just wait? No, please. I haven't seen you in almost a week. Just... is cold. Oh. You know, when I was a little girl, <clears throat> the town that I grew up in had the most amazing 4th of July fireworks. I would just sit on my dad's shoulders and look at these dazzling colors light up the night sky. This one night, guy, I'm sorry. One night we came home and there were dead birds everywhere. What? There were these large flocks of birds that would fly around at dusk every night. They'd sleep in the trees all over the neighborhood, all over town. But this night, they all just died. <laughs> it was raining dead birds. I ran out into the yard screaming. My, my dad tried to stop me, but I wanted to save them. I wanted them to all fly again. How the hell does something like that even happen? Nobody knew for the longest time. Half of the town thought that it was the wrath of God, and the other half thought it was some sort of cloaked alien spaceship. You want to know what it was? The fireworks. They were so loud it spooked all the birds and they couldn't see at night or something so they were running into all of the houses and the trees. Just... I couldn't believe it. I think about that day all the time. Listen, since we're on the subject, I will say this. Probably the most traumatic thing I can think of. This is so stupid. So, when I was a girl, I remember there was this bird's nest on the railing of our deck. Totally weird place for a bird's nest, but it was right within reach. I looked at these baby bird eggs and I picked them up and I played with them. I was little. I didn't know that if you touch the eggs that the mother would abandon the nest. I mean, who the hell would know that, right? Anyway, long story short, the mother never came back. The eggs hatched. I looked at these little things. 
their little necks reaching up, and crying. Crying for a mother that wasn't coming. I had just seen Old Yeller on cable. Remember what happens at the end of Old Yeller? Oh yeah, they have to kill Old Yeller because he has rabies. Oh my god, no. I killed those birds. I took the nest off the railing. I dug a hole. I buried those birds. It's not funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you know what's funny? You focus so hard on making everything so perfect. And it's clear that I have no intention of slowing down anytime soon. It is what it is. Nothing can be done. You can't fix all the broken wings. I am not trying to fix all of the broken wings. I am trying to have a genuine time with my best friend, but it's like you're trying to sabotage this relationship or something. Is that it? No. I mean, I'm sorry. You're right. 